federal government has announced a target of $80 billion investment inflow from Asian countries. That's in the next two years. The Minister of Trade and Investment, Mr. Olusha Guaganga, who spoke at a meeting with heads of missions of Asian countries in New Delhi, India, said the drive became necessary following the emergence of Asian countries as leaders in trade relations with Nigeria. Think tank by government officials and ambassadors from 14 Asian countries to make Nigeria a major trade and investment hub, and you won't be wrong. For over six hours, the officials deliberated on how to achieve this set mandate. And when the meeting was over, it was resolved that a target of 80 billion naira from countries in the Asian region for the next two years is key to employment generation and poverty reduction in the country. Most of the investments today are coming from Asia. So trade also coming from Asia. China is the largest importer to Nigeria. So the activity is more between the growth areas, meaning Asia is one of the growth areas and Africa is the other growth area. One after the other, heads of agencies charged with the mandate of improving investment inflows into the country through oil and non-oil exports also took time to explain why the ambassadors should improve investment ties with their countries of assignment. In the free trade zones, there are a lot of tax exemptions. We also have the concept of one-stop shop. That means both the immigration and the custom and the security, the police, all exist in the free trade zone as partners to facilitate trade. We have been able to marshal out strategies that will further boost trade and investment within the South Asia where we are residing. Trade volume between Nigeria and countries in the Asian continent currently stands at $40 billion, with India and China topping the list with over 2.9 trillion naira and 2.1 trillion naira respectively. Yes, one